Summer is here, and if you live in California, you know that means you're getting 110 degree weather pretty much daily. And although you can go inside and get AC, if your car is sat outside, your poor baby is getting all the sun. It can get up to 150 degrees in these cars. And yes, you have cabin overheat protection, but that takes up so, so much battery. As you can see, I have window tint on my car. My Tesla is tinted all around completely, even the top, but it only can help do so much because it still gets up to like 150 degrees in there. So I'm going to try to fix that today. There's two main problems with Teslas being out in the sun. Number one, the entire roof is glass. So from the windshield all the way to the trunk, it's just all glass. So that sun is really baking into the car. Problem two is I don't like putting sunshades on windshields because you got to set it up and then you got to put the mirrors down. And then when you want to take them off to start driving, you got to like pull them off and you got to fold them up. And I hate the folding and unfolding part. So it's pretty cool that Halo Bilk Black, Halo Black, I'm just going to call it Halo Black, made a windshield sunshade umbrella. What's cool about umbrellas is they have the mechanism that like pops in, pops out, and the whole thing just opens or closes. So it's awesome that they translated that into a windshield sunshade umbrella. So you're going to get it in this package, opening it up. It comes in this super, super dope suede little microfiber bag. It's not big at all. So pulling it out and get this, this is pretty sick. Got a little Velcro part right here. We can open it up. So when you do want to roll it up when you're done, you can do it with this piece right here. Just rolls over it and Velcro's on. That's super easy. Boom. Okay, how, how do we open this? So it's just as easy, or if not easier, as an umbrella. All right, so bottom part right here, you're just gonna want to grab this and then push out. Oh, 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 that's sick, guys, look at that. It's like a whole whole shield from the sun. That's super sick. Check this out, this is awesome. So it covers your entire windshield. It's got this whole cool NASA theme on that. Check that out. I love this thing. All right, so now the most important thing, and let's see if it can do it, is storage. When I'm done, I wanna drive, click this little tab. Oh, so simple, and just folds up. All right, I love this thing. Time to put it in the car. Okay, so sitting in the Tesla, let's see if we can do it. Oh, and this is cool too. Look, there's a little Velcro part for it to go around your mirror. So before you unfold it, you can do that. And that's also a good way to know which side is up. So the side with the little split in it is up for the uh, mirror, rear view mirror. All right, guys, it's getting hot in here. So let's open this up and put it against the windshield. So I'm putting it over the screen like this, and then we're just gonna pull it and have it blow out. Oh, sick. That is awesome. So this can like Velcro right here. Dude, that's sweet. And then the mirrors, well, the mirrors don't even actually have to fold down for it to, to sit into place. And then this is cool. The umbrella part right here, it like swivels. So if you have a tilted screen, you can move it around or you can set it up to push up the umbrella to have it be pushed more against your windshield. And I can feel it already inside of here. This is such a noticeable difference versus the sun like shining straight into the cabin and then this being up. Guys, you can see the difference. It's so much darker in here. This is sick. This is blocking out so much of the heat. Just having this up, it makes the cabin so, so much cooler. I, I guarantee you. You wanna drive somewhere, it's time to go. Okay, cool. So let's unfold this part. Let's unclip it with this little clip right here. And then you just fold it back up and then you undo this mirror part. Boom, that's it. And then you can just put it together, Velcro it, and you're done. I'm gonna put it back though, so I'm not packing it because, uh, oh yeah, it's supposed to get 110 again today. So you can watch me put it back. Again, simple as putting it as behind the screen, and then let's just throw this thing up. This is sick how it just explodes like this. All right, so let's lock it into place. We're gonna put it behind the screen. We're gonna have it go around the top. And honestly, you don't need the Velcro part as long as you have this part down here in a good position. I didn't, so let's do that. And boom, it just sits like this. No need to deal with folding the mirrors out and down. It works even if you have a swivel screen, 
which is what I have. So this part is like a rubbery plastic. If you look behind here, you can rest it up against the back part of your screen or the wood trim. I found against the screen backing housing area is the best part to get it to kind of just sit here and be stationary. This is the little umbrella style clip that you would press in and this would release the whole mechanism and this is what locks it into place as well. The construction of it is super nice. So you got these springs right here on these metal pieces that help the whole thing fold out. So let's take a look at it from the outside. I'm pretty sure it would have went around up top here and down here, but uh, as you can see, I have my little rubber ducky right there and it, it was blocking it. But this is so sick looking. What? This is so cool. It literally looks like a spaceship car now. This is so cool. It literally looks like a spaceship car, guys. Check that out. Oh, I love that so much. So easy to deploy, so easy to put in and remove when you're ready to drive. This is sick. All right guys, so it's a bit later on in the day, as you can see, it's a bit shadier now. However, this thing has obviously stood up the entire day, hasn't collapsed or anything. And I'll put some screenshots on the side of the screen right now. You can see the literal difference. So on the left-hand side was the day before, 49 degrees. And then on the right-hand side, it's like, I think, what, 127? I'm not looking at the screen right now, but 127, I believe. Guys, that is a humongous, humongous difference. It brought the entire temperature of the car down. That is flipping insane. So from the outside, I mean, my sentry mode's on right now, but you can't really see it, mostly because of the tints. But this is, again, what it looks like on the outside and it is super sick looking i love it it really goes with any car just really brings out the whole spaceship thing so if you want to protect your car from the sun if you want to keep it cool and you want to look cool make sure you pick one of these up from halo black there's a few great things that this does and it helps you actually save money that's because you know if it's like 150 degrees in your car you know when you get in it to cool it down it's going to take a lot of air condition to cool it down which is going to take off a lot off your battery now if it's already cool so not 149 degrees 127 degrees the car doesn't have to work that hard to cool the cabin so you're saving battery with this sunshade you really are saving battery you're saving money in the long run and you look super sick so did you see this model y right here it doesn't have one i have another model y it's, it's in the street my parents my brother i'm gonna pick two up one for each of them because this thing it's really a game changer and it looks sick. And if you want to pick up your own, make sure you do. I'll have a link in the description below to save your car against the heat and to save some money. Use Tesla FPV at checkout and go check these out in the description below.